Welcome to uh, a Marketing 247 Online Consumer Behavior offered by Harper College in conjunction with Blackboard Course Management System. My name is Dr. George Machaki. This uh, short YouTube is going to be an overview of what we did last week, an introduction to what you uh, to be expected going uh, forward this week, and uh, a little bit at the end we'll talk about Chapter 9, which is memory and positioning and you know learning and marketing. Basically, we teach you how to learn without you knowing that you're being taught. And then the last chapter will be on motivation. And motivation will be a continuation from what you had from previous courses uh, at Harper, uh, either in uh, management or in marketing, how do I motivate the consumer, understanding the consumer's behavior so I know what triggers and stimuli to motivate him or her into being uh, just not only a looking customer, or aware of my product, but also a buying customer. Okay, last week we, we uh, discussed our uh, research topics, and I think everyone did an excellent job on research topic you all have good topics you know uh, we were going back and forth I know uh, there's individuals that want a little more information on what's required so what I did this week uh, I went in I added uh, several things into your blackboard when you look at the blackboard on the left hand side in the blue area you'll see a link to uh, Harper College click on that and it's basically a link uh, it's a resource uh, type in stuff they have a, a, a video clips in there how to uh, move along in there so you can find some information on different customers and different uh, customers behavior so when you're doing the research paper you should do it pretty good the second thing i uh, i provided for you remember always go look at the concept map the concept map give you an overview of um, what's required for the week within the concept maps i also have the key definitions of the key words concepts that are required for when you write the research paper remember when you're going to be turning in your research paper you need to start using a conceptual uh, uh, understanding, conceptual uh, vocabulary, and concepts from the book within your paper. Whether you're taking me from my class or from any other class, you're taking psychology, you have to start using the terms that you uh, read. That's how you not only learn, but it also improves your vocabulary. And uh, when you're talking to other individuals, within that discipline they understand you and they say hey this person it kind of gives you like the deal uh, 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 validates you and gives you credibility uh, because you're using the right uh, of okay doesn't mean you uh, know it all but at least you come across that way I mean, the, the, the perception okay so what do we have here so I have that and I did uh, I did create here a research paper information uh, button. I know some of the individuals want it. You'll click on there and you'll have, first of all, if you're a, a PDF file, a basic write up, what you're going to need for the paper, you know, the executive summary, product niche, uh, where are your customers, and all that thing. You're going to have to have the eight headings, 24, uh, 2,400 words, about like seven, eight pages, six or more outside, plus everything else. So everything you have in there. Now, the other thing that you also have in that uh, uh, feature thing I, I provided you a, a concept map now it's a concept map that uh, will tell you everything that you need so uh, I've done that I've also created a rubrics and how you're going to be uh, graded on that so we should be okay for uh, your research paper the topics are good and everything else now uh, this other week I'm going to change it a little bit different on what's required so if I'm going to go we're going to go into uh, our weekly module and uh, like I said uh, last week I uh, asked you to submit your homework uh, for 10 points and you submitted it as a PDF file I haven't got a chance to grade it I'll be grading it later on uh, tonight and uh, tomorrow so because you had till uh, yesterday so uh, I'll grade it um, and what I was trying to do some of you uh, submitted the homework in the dialog box after you uh, looked at my real quick uh, uh, clip on how to uh, submit homework uh, in Blackboard, I'll just submit it to, to me as a PDF file. Whenever you submit it to me as a PDF file or, or a, a, a document file, make sure you always have your name on the file, the course number, and even when I open up the file, you should always on a paper, even if it's a Word document, it will say Marketing 247, Consumer Behavior, uh, uh, Homework uh, Week 1, Week 2, or whatever the homework it was, uh, uh, Instructor Dr. Machaki. Are we okay then? So uh, you should be okay. You did very well on this. This week, we're going to have one form again. Now the form is going to be, if I look at the, this week's uh, uh, homework assignment, the form that I'm looking at, let me go in here real quickly, Weekly Massage. Uh, uh, modules let's see week five you have the overview so you already know but this week uh, uh, you still have the two quiz uh, uh, the quiz 20 points 
but the form is going to be a little different. You're going to go into a site. Right? First of all, I want you to look at some uh, uh, YouTube, some real short video clips. What I uh, there's a there by chapters. You have chapter nine, which is learning and uh, memory and uh, positioning. The, uh, the clips are basically on how one would position a product whether it's online within the store or kind of uh, when you read the chapter it will make a little more uh, clear understanding for you now chapter 10 is on motivation so when you're looking at the clips part of the things I'm going to ask you for each clip I think on, uh, when I click it on if I look I had the video clips for uh, uh, chapter 9 you have uh, one two you have uh, uh, Chiquita uh, targets younger generation positioning product as a general overview risk of reposition of product so you could clip on the chapter 9 you could uh, the, pick two, cha two of the uh, videos Watch them, clip them, you know, uh, do the one, post it into uh, the form in the subject area. I watched uh, the risk of repositioning and what areas do you want to avoid for your product or for your uh, 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 feasibility. Because uh, you know, uh, you're going to select, remember, your research paper. You're selecting the topic and now you're going to try to find out everything about the consumer Be the, to how do I sell to that individual, how do I market that individual, so you're going to be doing some market analysis. Look at the concept map on what's required in the research paper. I did send you an announcement earlier, so you should have all that. Okay, so you're going to pick one or two of those out of chapter nine, and you're going to post those comments within a form. Then you're going to go back into the same thing where it says on there, and then I have another folder that says for chapter 10. Chapter 10, I think I have like two or three, and there again, pick one or two of chapter 10's clips Re look at the clip, they're like two to three minutes, not as long as my clips, but they're probably a little bit better quality. And read them, look at the, uh, the advertising, see who they're advertising, respond to the questions, post that inside uh, the form. So you're going to have several different posts, different subject areas. So if someone posts on that and they already talked about Jessica Simpson's uh, proactive commercial. And so, okay, so you, you could just add on to that one, but always try to get at least one that you make your own comments. I don't want you just following somebody else's. So, so you have enough in here. Now, you have to be communicated within the week. You're doing this last week. You're excellent on, uh, I only have one student uh, who uh, only posted one time. But most of you, you have to nine points, full point. This is what you want to go going forward. The forms are for you to learn, interact. Communicate. I know sometimes students said they're painted about, but at work, I have to always be in and out. Look, I have about three or four online classes plus face to face classes that are required for me, and I'm in and out. I'm not in all the time, but I come in and there, do it three or four, come in, do it three or four. So uh, take what you've learned out of these uh, YouTubes. Put the questions that I've asked you uh, underneath each of the clip. There's a set of questions. Respond to them in the form. Respond to other students. And if you run out of things to talk, because some people, you know, it's, it's a little smaller uh, group, go take another uh, clip or watch all the clips. These are excellent clips. And now you start thinking about why or how videos, how advertisers, how marketing, if they understand how I, as a gener uh, as a baby boomer, Gather information, how I make my decisions, what sites I look at, what triggers will make me go, oh, I got to buy this one because it's going to run out last one. Where a younger generation, why will have a whole different kind of triggers. So, but I want all of them. But depending on the market, depending who the, the predominant customer that's coming to my store, once I understand his or hers uh, uh, consumer uh, behavior, now what I, what you're going to be doing in this class, first I identify them by looking at different uh, uh, clips, what are they trying to do, and now I try to place them into my own, okay, so that's the, uh, it's going to be interesting, a little bit different, and then you have the regular quiz again, you know, uh, most of you are doing very well on the quizzes, the forum, I think this week it's only worth 40 points, but catch up on there, look at the stuff that I submitted on the research paper, and later on I'll do a a real short clip on how to submit a certain research paper and go uh, through it. So that takes care of what I would consider the busy work. So hey, this is what you need, right? Watch the clips, do the forums, do the quizzes, read the chapters, enjoyable chapters, and look what you have to do on the research uh, paper. And next, and remember, so when you're, uh, after you look at the videos, if you have something, I wonder how this will work for my product, and uh, start talking. Now, in the clips, I've been re reminding individuals. I don't want to start taking points off. When you're responding to somebody else in the forum, make sure you use his or her first name. Okay, so now, this week's uh, uh, reading you have on Chapter 9. It, it's basically looking at, remember, how do I learn? How do I uh, uh, remember? And because they're learning and uh, memory, 
a different positioning where I position it goes into different parts of my learning process no different than when I as an instructor I have to understand how am I going to get my students to understand this I understand you all want the A's and the B's and most of you are in that category right now so you keep up the good work the A's and the B's are there but not only that when you leave this class and you take a marketing class you take another class or you transfer someplace else you when an instructor talks to you about consumer behavior you talk about the learning you talk about product positioning you go I understand this okay the next chapter is on motivation this is a continuation you had the introduction of business some of you had me for management some of you had me for supervision or marketing the same thing you go, Nancy, how the different level I, I you know I got to look at my I take care of my basic needs first and then the money I have left over uh, I will spend it so is it a security issue and a security issue from consumers some are broken into the neighbor's house now I want a security system or I want a better door and then I go into a social uh, 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 you know belonging or a social uh, 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 area uh, how do I go out how do I eat how do I meet people and then I go to self-esteem you know how do I build up my uh, 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 self word and so I market different things in a different uh, categories and then you also going to say it's uh, Herzberg and you've got uh, uh, you know get Maslow's hierarchy need then you've got different uh, uh, growth methods you have different personalities you're going to be learning remember the personalities that you're talking in general but look at a personality a personality of a baby boomer is a completely different personality than a uh, uh, generation Y I'm not saying they met they can't mix I'm not saying they can't blend but they are a little bit different personalities and sometimes we pick up a little bit of, you know I'm a lot younger than I most likely look I'm just trying to make myself feel good but I may have a different attitude I'm always dealing with uh, generations Y generation X baby boomers different generations so I pick up on their uh, what do you call it the, their attributes or some of the things I like some of the things I don't like but so I may be a different type of a generation and my personality as generation uh, boomer may not fit what you would consider the uh, uh, the typical uh, boomer uh, uh, generation uh, boomer and same with you you may not be the typical generation why typical generation X or, or, or uh, the, the different uh, generations that was um, uh, uh, listed in previous readings okay so then you look at emotions now remember emotions always sell and here's a good way to look at emotion when they want a charitable organization I understand it's helping a cause it's a nonprofit but it's still a business they still market and everything else how do they get me to do I look at the TV ad and I see a poor child and that child look please don't come back and say he has no heart I'm just looking to using the emotions maybe to the extreme you find the worst case child show it on TV and you know and, and I'm saying it will help that but the majority of the children may not be quite as into that severity but they're trying to play on your emotion and right away give right away because the emotions once you are very charged up emotionally you're more willing uh, to uh, uh, it's a stimuli you are all willing to give right away because you feel I, I have to help someone so remember and emotions also works different I'm lonely in emotion I'm a sad emotion I mean I'm just saying I'm just looking at the nonprofit because that's one that a lot of times it's real easy to identify uh, when they talk about emotion you know involvement how do I involve you know all the businesses are 24 7 brands you know brands once you have a brand it's almost like a personality brands are connected to individuals personality so if I am a very high quality or innovative type I'm going to look at for the Apple product if I am like a lagger or very uh, a frugal type of individual I may look at uh, uh, e-machines or I may, may look at the Samsung uh, uh, that may not be the same uh, price or I may look at the Hewlett Packard type of company nothing's wrong with them trust me but the brand name the other ones that spend a lot of money to push their products their brand their uh, whole image their whole personality so I when I see Apple I, lo I look at Apple completely different than when I see IBM I see them all the traditional all structured very different than Apple I'm looking innovative now Samsung's coming in there and I'm not sure they're innovative but they're still on the low end and who are they but I'm, I like the way they're doing it because uh, it's like in, more in the, in the middle uh, in between type of uh, uh, between uh, uh, the real expensive brand and the real not the real low brand they're uh, they take care of their personalities more of an average type of a brand uh, that's just my opinion and my uh, perception remember consumers have different opinions and different perception you're looking at the personality of that individual okay so that's about this is for this week you have a whole bunch of uh, videos you know and I gave you I provided the link they should uh, work uh, all the time but sometimes you may be on your smartphone or sometimes there's something else and the links may not work
work all the time. One thing I, uh, I just want to re remind you, I am sending you the emails through Blackboard. Blackboard will take it, but if you're going to reply to the email that comes through Blackboard, or if you, uh, it may not come back. So make sure you go to your Gmail in Harper and send me something, because some students have replied. Uh, you know, I send everything else to remind you. It's an uh, email, but it went through Blackboard. It may come back to Blackboard. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You're better off just going to the Gmail and send it to me, and I'll respond to you right away within 24 hours. I know weekend's a little bit harder because I've got other classes, but usually Monday through Friday, if you respond to me, should be one in 24 hours. All right, so uh, remember, this week uh, we've got two interesting chapters. You have uh, 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 videos. I've created uh, uh, a little more uh, structured what's required for your uh, uh, research product. Look at that. They've got concept maps. Uh, uh, the forms are doing well. This class is, I, I love this class. This class is uh uh, I enjoy reading the forums, and, and, and now that you're actually on your topic, what a way to go. The ideas and the communication between the students is excellent. All right, so again, uh, uh, I'll see you in the forums. My name is Dr. George Machaki. This is uh, uh, Marketing 247, Consumer Behavior, and uh, offered by Harper College, utilizing Blackboard Course Management System, and I'll see you online. Bye.